Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are back talking about Total War Pharaoh. Total War Pharaoh Islands. Um, might as well be. But if you've not watched my reaction to the trailer, please do go and watch that. Then you'll understand my positions a little bit more. Once again, I'm going to reiterate that this isn't a happy hype video. This is going to be critical, okay? And if you can't handle criticism of a game that's not even released, then why are you here? <laughs> Go and pre-order it and sit down and enjoy yourself. <laughs> this is not for you, okay? This is not for you. <laughs> but for everyone else, welcome. So we're going to go through the fact. What is Total War Pharaoh? Good question, CA. I like that. I like that. The newest entry in the award-winning grand strategy series from the developers at Creative Assembly. Yes, it's true. Um, experience ancient Egypt during the vibrant and tumultuous era of the Bronze Age collapse. So hopefully they're going to have sea peoples in there. You know, in terms of what they say, they've got the Canaanites, they've got the Hittites, that sort of thing. But we're going to talk a little bit about that in detail in a second. Uh, a master dynamic real-time battles and turn-based empire management to rise above your adversaries and become Egypt's last great foe. Well, I mean, hopefully if you do well, you won't be Egypt's last great pharaoh, you know. You'd create a bit of a dynasty. So uh, when will Total War Pharaoh be released? October 2023. So not too long to wait, guys, for all you guys really wanting to play this. Um, what playable factions will be available at launch? The base game contains eight playable factions from three diverse culture. So we've got Ramesses, Seti, Tauthret, Amen, Mese. Uh, we've got the Canaanite, Bey and Ursu, and the Hittite, Karunta and Supiluliuma. Yes. So we've got eight factions there. Fantastic. Good. Eight factions is, you know, nowhere near the level of, <laughs> of what we used to get back in the day. Even Empire had way more than eight factions. Even, uh, no, Napoleon didn't, okay? Napoleon didn't. <laughs> That's one that didn't have many factions to play, Napoleon. Uh, but, you know, Rome, Medieval, um, uh, Medieval 2. Um, I, I wonder whether Shogun 1 had more. Let's have a look, shall we? Here we are. Shogun 1 had seven. So they're advanced. They've advanced one faction from Shogun 1. Fantastic. What a great advance in, you know, 20 odd years. We've got one extra faction than Shogun 1. Fantastic. Glorious. Absolutely brilliant. Now, this is something we're going to drill down into a little bit now. And something I'm very, very annoyed by. And it is base game cost 50 quid. $60, guys. $60. That. That honestly seems obscenely high. And I've noticed this as a trend recently. But even Paradox aren't charging that much for Victoria 3. Let's have a look at what Victoria 3 is. So Victoria 3, although it's a very mid-game, um, was €49.99. Euros. So we're adding, we're tacking on another €10. Euros. Is that justified? I don't think so. It's another 10 quid, basically, for all you... Uh, Britonians out there, and I believe around another ten dollars as well for all you Americans. But yeah, forty nine ninety nine. That is a really, really high price, especially seen as a, you know, it's not come out yet. But I've got a feeling it, it might not be fantastic. What is included in the Deluxe and Dynasty editions? In addition to the base game, there are two digital bundles of Total War Pharaoh available for pre order on Steam. And this is where you can, you know, pay 60 quid for a game or 80 pounds. $92, guys. Nearly $92 for this Dynasty edition. The, Dejul the Deluxe edition, $72. And listen to this. It only, it only contains a digital soundtrack and DX DLC Faction Pack 1. So if you wait for the DLC Faction Pack 1 to come out, your game's probably going to be worth $15 less. And then you're probably going to only pay $10 for the DLC pack. Maybe $12, $15 at the most. So it's going to be so much cheaper. So 
Why would anyone pay for this? Come on, why? <laughs> and then the Dynasty Edition contains DLC Faction Pack 1, 2, and 3, DLC Campaign Pack, and Digital Soundtrack. So, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about games, in general, uh, recently. Um, the Dynasty Edition contains all that, the DLC Faction Pack 1. So what they're either admitting here, when we see these sort of uh, spread out DLC Faction Packs with Total War, what they're either saying is, first of all, the first option, they're saying that they have these factions created already, they're just not going to release them into the game. They're going to make you pay for them. Or, second option, they've not fully completed the map and the factions, so they can't release them until after the game, thus releasing not a finished game. So take either of one of the options. I personally believe that it's option one, that they have completed these factions. They will complete these factions before launch. They just won't release them to you because... They want money, and they're pretty greedy. We can already see that with £49.99 as an asking price for a Total War game. Honestly, I think that's crazy. Crazy. Maybe I've just been out of the loop too long, but that is obscene. I know I know, AAA games are 50 quid nowadays, but they shouldn't be. <laughs> Not a Total War game. Uh, compared to paying full price for each individual item, the Dulux Edition offers players a 10% discount and the Dynasty Edition offers a 25% discount. So what they're saying is, so if we take that number, $60 goes up to $90. So $30 difference. So what they're saying is they're getting a 25% discount on these and there's, there's uh, five different things. So you're talking about $15 or so a DLC pack, aren't you? Hmm. <laughs> that again, it's quite expensive, isn't it? Wow. What do I get if you pre-order the game? If you pre-order Total War Pharaoh now, you'll be able to take part in an exclusive early access weekend before the game is released, where you'll probably realize that you want a refund. So if you want to do that... <laughs> Please, if you do play it and it's not good, <laughs> do <laughs> ask for a refund from Steam. You will also receive the Avatar of the Gods cosmetic pack and Heart of Shardana cosmetic pack for the full game. Really don't care. Like <laughs> A limited period where you can play and enjoy part of the game before launch. I do quite like that as an idea. I'll give CA some credit here. I do quite like that. I'm not a fan of pre-ordering games. I'm not going to sit here holier than thou and pretend that I've never done it. I 100% have done it. The last pre-ordered Total War game I pre-ordered was Rome 2. So that is why I don't pre-order Total War games anymore. <laughs> As you can probably imagine why. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, you get some cosmetic packs, which... Pff, really? I need to talk to some of the guys at RIS about this, because... I'm sure that's not historically accurate, bro. <laughs> will there be a physical edition? Yes, there will be a physical edition. I don't care. What languages will Total War Pharaoh be available in? Now, let's talk about this as well. Text and subtitles will be available in a load of languages. Great. Great, great, great. Full audio will be available only in English, German, and Mandarin. Partial audio will be available in French, Italian, Spanish, and Polish. Okay? Now, big problem I have here is, I don't speak Spanish. But Spanish is the second, I believe the second most spoken language in the world, right? Or the second most widely spoken language in the world. And you couldn't even be bothered to put Spanish as a full audio option in your game. Really, CA? Come on. Unless you've got some really, some numbers to show that Spanish-speaking people just don't play Total War games. I, I really don't understand that. Spanish is a huge language. So is French. So is French. Both of these languages are much, much bigger than German. Massively. And I'm sorry, German people, but it's true. 
And I'm not saying that Germans should be taken out. What I'm trying to say is that Germans should be in there and so should French and Spanish and Italian and Polish. And yeah, you know, maybe not going down to every single language, but Spanish should definitely be in there. (laughs) Come on, CA, Spanish, (laughs) not even in the game. Oh, dear, dear, dear me. And then we get on to something, oh, that really hurts me, bro. Total War Pharaoh offers two-player co-op, okay? Two-player co-op? Ooh. Two-player? That doesn't sound great. Ooh. And head-to-head mode. Now, we don't know exactly what that means. That could be head-to-head, you know, four versus four. But what I get from that is one-on-one. Really? If I'm right, and that is simply one-on-one, that is honestly shocking. You can only play against your friend and not play with them. Oh, that's so sad. But I'm hoping, beyond hope, that that is, you know, um, head-to-head in terms of it can be three versus three. Come on, stick in five versus five, CA, please. You know, lots of big battles on multiplayer. But that has gone through the fact, guys. We've gone through a few of the details. Criticise them, as usual. I'm sorry about that if you, you're really hyped for this game. But if I can't criticise a game that's not even released yet, what's the point of living, bro? <laughs> I will preface this by saying that, of course, we don't know what it's going to be like. I'm just going off the details that are here in front of us. And those of you that are saying, you know, you shouldn't criticize the game because it's not released. You've not seen it yet. That's fine. I agree. I'm not criticizing the game per se yet. What I'm criticizing is the information that we've been given about the game and what I don't like about it and what we can extrapolate from that information. So have some of those apples but if you don't subscribe you're going to be put into this game and live in eternal mediocrity okay (laughs) so thank you very much for watching guys ca blacklist me please don't blacklist me whatever (laughs) i will see you all again on the next video